Yo everybody, it's Master Games 22 here at the Lunchbox. Yes, I am playing Paper Mario the Origami King. And yes, I'm not sure how much I'm going to enjoy this game. But I'm willing to give it a try. I've played all the other past ones, including the other two that I wasn't too keen on. But I have some high hopes that this game could at least show me that Paper Mario is on track to getting somewhat closer back to its roots, but also bringing something new to the table. So without further ado, let's go ahead and dive into this game and accept it for what it is. Okay. Let's go ahead and get started. <clears throat> Drink some water first. So that I speak out all this dialogue. Isn't this great, bro? Back on the road again, again together. Heading to some kind of festival. What did the invitation say again? An origami festival? What's that gonna be like? And I can't wait to say hello to Princess Peach. It's a been a while. I don't know how well I can do it, good Luigi. But this is um cool that um we're riding on a uh, little <laughs> cart from like Mario Kart to get there. It's a nice little. Uh, Reference to throw in. Here we are, Toad Town, and there's Peach's Castle. This is a uh, pretty desolate looking. Where is everybody? You don't think we missed it, do you? Mario, check the invitation again. When were we supposed to be here? You're invited to an origami festival in fabulous Toad Town. Circle Circle XX, Peach. Well, it's the right day. You think they're still getting things ready? Let's uh, go check the castle. Maybe when everyone's inside. That's cool. Yeah, this little cinematic type of view. Going on. I know that's not gonna be what the um, whole game is like, <laughs> but it's cool to like um, give a different perspective. I mean, already the town kind of looks like it has a type of mysteriously odd vibe going on, you know? Classic Princess Peach Castle movie. Here we are, Peach's Castle. I'm gonna park the cart, okay? I don't wanna tip the valet. <laughs> I'm so done. There they go again, really trying to drive home that they're just paper thin. But hopefully this game is fuller. Sorry for the wait, bro. Let's go to see the princess. This is what I've always um, personally wanted to see in P Paper Mario, um, when you can like actually have Luigi as a partner also. Um, technically we got that with Super Paper Mario, but you know, I wanted it in the RPG style standard, if that makes sense. It's a kinda spooky in here, isn't it? And where is everybody? 
I'd expect to see at least one toad by now. Mamma mia, I forgot our gift in the cart. I'll just dash over and get it. Oh, okay. I don't like that. How am I supposed to go get outside when the door is locked? Don't worry, Mario. I know just what to do in situations like this. You just gotta find Mario. Right, Mario? Oh. Okay, I'm just gonna keep a deep breath and go find the key to this door. That's what you do, right? Tell Princess Peach I'll be right there if you see her first, okay? Bye-bye. Actually, what I should have did was bye-bye for that. <laughs> Mario, is that you? It's just like the title. I mean, the trailer we saw. This is already looking weird. How good to see you. Answer me this. Shouldn't the Mushroom Kingdom unfold and be refolded unto glory? No. <laughs> and what of those toads? Shouldn't they be silenced for all eternity? Uh, Princess Peach, uh, no. <laughs> I, I see. Last question. What, well, will you crease yourself and be reborn like me? What? No, Princess. <laughs> Wrong answer. Right answer. It matters not. Your replies are all paper thin. Bye. Princess, wait! <laughs> Oof. Mario! Always gotta make a flashy entrance, huh? Are you here for the Origami Festival too? This dungeon themed waiting lounge is a huge upgrade from the last festival I attended. Very classy. You ain't seen Master Bowser anywhere, have you? It ain't like the big lug to leave us minions hanging at a public event. Whoa, Mario? You're here? I'm a big fan, er... I mean, I've always wanted to battle you. Even if I get stomped, it would be an honor. Wow, this is all exciting. First I see the prince Princess Peach, and now you? I gotta say, the princess was a little different than I expected. Less... lifelike? Come with us. Yeah, what's next? Yeah, what's next? I've never seen a toad before. Please tell me it's a toad. Not you. Aw. Hope you don't have to wait too long, Mario. I'll say hi to a toad for you. Things are very weird right now. Mario, is that you? I need your help. I'm... I'm... I'm in a very strange place. It's cramped and dark, almost like I'm in between dimensions or something. I'm not sure if it should be... Um, I'm not sure if I should be amazed or scared, but I'm kind of both. If it's not too much to trouble, I'd like to get out of, get out now. Please, is there any way you can help? What was that? Did your, something light up at your feet? Is it a magic circle? That's good. I think, I mean, I'm not really sure what you're supposed to do with it. Can you try to use it somehow? Stumbling over my words a little bit. 
Alright, there we go. Let's do it. That. That sounded good. Are your arms big and foldy now? I heard about this. I think those are called 1,000 fold arms. Try feeling around a bit. Maybe you can make, help me escape from this strange dimension. It feels like the if it feels like the arms are off center and out of control, maybe try pressing R to reset them. The heck? Okay, this is the whole. Uh, Wow, I'm free of that weird in-between dimension. Oh, was I stuck in that wall? You must be Mario. My name's Olivia. You probably like to know a lot more about me and why I was trapped like that, huh? But I don't think we really have time for that now. Maybe we should get just get out of here. There's just one thing. I'm not exactly fleet of foot. Mind if I hitch a ride? It's always somebody jumping into Mario. <laughs> hey. We got our hammer. Whoa. Where'd you find... No. Whoa. What'd you find? It looks big and smashy. Maybe try pushing B to see what happens. You know, I feel like I just had a pretty good idea. I don't know if they'll always be good ideas, but I'm always happy to share them with you. Why don't you try pressing X if you're stuck, and I'll see if I can think of something useful. Who knows? Maybe we'll get to know each other and make a great team. Is that how these things go? Okay, I'm getting my bearings. I think we might be in the castle dungeon. Dungeons smell like this place smells, right? <laughs> oh, thank you for calling me with X. It's my first hint. Now a natural hint. Um, I feel like a good, a good hurry is in order. Is there a way out of here nearby? Apparently we can't. Oh, this is where we just were. Yeah, I, I'm liking um, how it's starting off. Hey, knock it off! I already know that's a Bowser. Can't open that. But we can look through here. Just checking for any secrets. Yeah, let's go. Uh, I didn't read those. My bad, y'all. I can see what you're about to do to my minion, and I order you to cut it out. What the hell? Like zombifying them. What? What did you see? Nothing terrifying, I hope. That was the latest last of them. Except for the mustachioed one. Okay. Maybe I have time to explain one little thing. Those stiff looking guys are called folded soldiers. I don't want to alarm you, but they're unbelievably dangerous. I think we should try to avoid them. What do you think they meant by that was the last of them? Anyway, the last of what? Probably the last of the soldiers. 
I feel like something's going down in that room with the spooky voice. Should we check it out? Mario, you're here too? Well, what are you waiting for? Get me down from this thing. Even you know this is no way to treat royalty. Royalty? Oh, nice to meet you. Is everyone in your kingdom also a face? I I've got a body too. Those folded joke jerks just bent it in ways that I won't describe in detail right now. I've seen worse, believe me. Never mind that. I'm the great King Bowser, and I demand to be set free and unfolded. Now, Mario, ignore your floating fern and get me down from here. Bowser commands you. I will do the same for you. You need me as much as I need you. Admit it. Plus, I can't tell you I can tell you a secret after you free me. No one can resist a good secret. <laughs> Alright, Bowser, let's try and get you down. Ow! 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 <laughs> so oh, kinda thought I just unfolded something. Bah, no matter. As far as that secret, I promise to tell you, there's a hidden exit in this room. I heard those jerks talking about it. Lousy, no good, body folding jerks. Now hurry up and find it, and I'll let you bring me along when you escape. Oh, what an honor, Bowser. It's not like you haven't been ruining most of our lives. Oh, I can hit him. Magic circle. Uh, I, I, by the way, if y'all didn't know, this is motion based right now, and I kind of want to see, uh, <laughs> where would you be without me? You're really getting the hang of this 1,000 fold arms, Mario. Yeah, um, I don't, um, I'm hoping there's a way to not do it. Motion base. Save complete, huh? Guess that means your adventure is up to this point. Has been saved. <laughs> Let's make a habit of saving every time we see another one of these shiny blocks, okay? Oh, and you'll find all sorts of helpful stuff if you open the menu of Plus. If you want to try out some other options or need some help, check the cog icon section of the menu. Well, this uh, works into play with what I wanted to... Oh, there we go. Choose whether to use button controls or motion controls. I'd rather try out, but, um, try out um, button controls rather than motion. Not that I had a hard time so far, but like, I mean... I don't want to in the future. Like, it, motion controls don't really bother me, necessarily. Sometimes, huff. Hey, slow down. I'm walking here with my face. Nobody makes Bowser walk with his face. I mean, obviously they did. But they're not gonna get away with it. <sighs> um, before I got distracted. Look at that lighting, that looks real nice. Um. I've, I have no problem necessarily with motion controls, it's just that I f f feel this game doesn't really need them, you know? What do you think the secret exit leads? Oh, I bet that's the secret too. Led to the top of the castle. Not really the best exit plan. Oh boy. Why is it that the shy guys always end up being like, you, she can't see me like this? What the heck? <laughs> Why are you so still so flat? Why haven't you joined me in folded glory? Come, we can reshape you. Patience, princess. This will do just fine. So you're Mario, Princess Peach's hero, right? Yes, you'll do quite well. 
very crisp, bright colors. I can see it now. So what do you say? Will you volunteer your paper body to the cause? Hey, I'm crisp. Or will we have to get crumply? Or will we have to... Oh, wait, I said it right. Join us, yes or no? No. No, princess. Ah, I expected nothing less. And to be honest, I wouldn't have it any other way. Take a good long look at Princess Peach. She's better this way, don't you think? No need to answer. You'll soon feel the power of origami for yourself. Folded soldier, come forth. I've never seen a folded soldier like that. Mario, does it look like one of your flat paper friends? I never got to see. Toad. Prepare to be folded! Wave battle. Alright, y'all. Oh no, I'm guessing this is your first time facing folded soldiers, Mario. Once these flat paper folks have been turned into folded soldiers, we can't turn ba them back. It seems cruel to fight them, but if we don't, they'll try to fold you into origami too. I'd help you attack, but my tiny arms don't pack much of a punch. I don't want to get in your way. So I'll cheer you on, but you'll have to do the heavy lifting yourself, sadly. Alright. I'm guessing you're going to be able to do something, though. And hey, did you catch that first message? It says something about a wave battle. Are we in some kind of splash zone? I guess we'll tr worry about that when we get to it. Let's focus on these enemies for now, Mario. Speaking of, you're surrounded by four so folded soldiers. Huh, where did the other three come from? If they all attack at once, you'll get a real pummeling. This looks rough. Hey, I just had a great idea. If you line all four of them up, you can jump your way down the row in one attack. Boop, bop, dip, bam. Lucky for us, these rings will let us move the enemies around and group them together. So, use the left stick to select the ring you want to move, and then press A to confirm your choice. There's one naughty Goomba out of place right now. Let's try to get it over to the empty spot. Alright. Oh. Okay. Now use the left stick again to rotate the ring. Once the Goomba is lined up, press A to finish. There we go. Yeah, there we go. You lined the four Goombas up. When you group when you group up your enemies into a successful lineup like this, your attack power increases by 1.5. That means your attack power will be precisely uh oh gosh, I forgot how to multiply by a point. Um Oh whatever. You get what I mean. Your attacks will do more damage. So keep lining those enemies up. Okay, now we can flatten the Goombas with a jump attack. Select your pair of boots using the left stick and press A to attack. Gotcha. Just like classic. Bam, boom, bam, bam. Did I do that perfect every time? I felt one time the controller did a rumble. Wow, those world famous jumps don't disappoint. You took out all four Goombas with a single jump attack. See what I mean? Lining up your enemies is totally worth the effort. Last wave. Arg! More folded soldiers? I guess some battles are gonna have to have enemies attacking in waves. I guess that must be why this was called a wave battle up front. If you see the last wave pop up, that must mean you're on the last group. Hang tough, Mario. These guys are lined up a little differently, so show me your hammer attack next. Alright, I get it. Your hammer will hit shorter and wider area with hit a short shorter and wider area with one powerful blow. Those spaces marked with marked with circles are showing you where the hammer will attack will land. It'd be great if you can get all four soldiers into those spaces. Let's give it a try. Same as before. Select the ring, blah blah blah. Gotcha. 
Well, well, come on. There we go. You did it. Now they're all in a hammering range. And the lineup is perfect, so you can your attack power went up by 1.5 again. I'll uh, let you do the math. Time to swing that hammer of yours. Select your hammer and press A to start the attack. Okay. Let's see if I can do the hammer. The hammer's been weird as of lately for me. When it, when, for these newer Paper Mario games, I, I just don't get the same plop. Ah. Fast, flashy, and flattening, but only if you arrange your enemies into a successful lineup. Jump attacks and hammer attacks have their own great lineups. Always think carefully about how your enemies are lined up before you attack. Okay? Okay. Hmm. So, you defeated the first Goomba. Bravo. I assure you, it was far from the deadliest creature in this run. I suppose there's no point in maintaining this charade any longer. I was saying, why is it that the, it seems Shy Guys are always being turned into these villains lately um, in this game series? Brother! No, it can't be. Now that's a dis. Now that is dysfunctional. <laughs> what the heck, Bowser? No, it can't be. I didn't want to believe it could be you. How many times did I tell you to stop? Please, you have to stop now. Why couldn't Mario have simply left you in the wall where I put you? Sister, if you stand in my way my ambition of my ambition, I'm afraid you will not share in the glory as my family. Oh, and by the way, I'm no longer your brother, Ollie. I am King Ollie. By the time I am done, all these miserable toads will be folded. The flimsy paper minions of Bowser shall be reborn as loyal folded soldiers, serving me. And I shall fold, crease, and bend the entire paper world to my whim. The birth of a new origami kingdom. The way his eyes all slanted makes it seem like he wasn't that loud. <laughs> oh, here we go. This is um what we saw in the trailer. Well, more of it, but and it's the same music. I think. <laughs> this is a shy guy. So done. Streamers. What would you even call that type of paper? And what the heck? <laughs> Why does this look so epic? This is like stuff that I would expect from a remake of Paper Mario Thousand Year Door. Oh my gosh, Luigi! We forgot him in the castle. We have to go back for him. We're all separated. Well, the shy guy got Bowser before it was too late. Peach's castle always getting moved, man. I do like that this is going to be like a different villain besides it just being Bowser again, you know. That's what <clears throat> I always appreciated for the series going forward. It's okay to make Bowser the villain, but like... Sometimes you need mix-ups, man. And like for the past um, two Paper Mario games, we've had Bowser as the villain. And he's not that interesting to see all the time. And apparently I can move right now. Here we go. Uh, okay. We're back. Oh, we're away from Ali. Can we use this still? You need Olivia, uh, it's uh, Olivia actually, to use the 1000 folded arm technique. Okay. Uh, we probably have to find her. 
no. Okay. Nah, I don't think we're getting her from the trees. Maybe she's over here. Watch out! Unless you can float like me. Oh, that's her. Unless you can float like me. I'd be careful over there, Mario. Do you see that huge hole in the ground? I don't think you'd like falling into it. Maybe there's a way to fix it. But how? Hmm. Oh, I've got it. Catch this. Empty confetti bag. Did you see the colorful scraps of paper that showered out of the tree when you fell? That's confetti. Everything that here is made of paper, of course. So every little bit of confetti is a little tiny piece of the, our world. That's why I think you gather enough confetti and sprinkle it on the hole. It might just fix the problem. See the little icon that's urgently flashing? That tells you how much confetti you have. Can you try hitting flowers, grass, and trees with your hammer and knock confetti loose? And um, once you're done, I might need rescuing again, so sorry. Okay. I'm still annoyed by the whole idea of the, you know, paper, but, because that, that's not essentially what Paper Mario only is, like, it's not just a paper world, like, it's just, it's basically like a stage. Mario, I have a feeling that you've collected enough confetti by now. Maybe try heading over to the hole very carefully. Can we not store more? Might as well, right? Yeah. Yeah. Um, I think your bag is filled to the brim with confetti already. Oh, that rhymes. Anyway, can you try heading over to that big hole now? Yes, I can. So that's what the maximum looks like. The bag ain't even shaking anymore. It's just glowing. All right. Now, what do you want to do here? Is oh, oh, wait, hold on. Sorry. All right. Now, what do you want? Now, what you want to do here is get kind of close to that totally scary pit. When you're ready, press ZR to toss some confetti on it. Yeah, ZR. Ha, ZR. Boosh, ZR. Pow, ZR. You don't have to do the sound effects, but I think they're kind of fun. Yeah. Bah. Pow. It was kind of fun. <laughs> Did it work? It sounded like it worked. Well, if it worked this time, it should work every time you find one of these. Call me optimistic. Oh, no. I hope you would, won't always remember me for this moment alone, Mario. Maybe you could help me get unstuck, my head unstuck somehow? So, an, my initial thought process is to go ahead and... Oh, so it doesn't let me <laughs> pull. Done how they fell over. Phew, that's much better. Thank you. All right, now where are we? There's no one around to ask for directions. This could be a problem. It seems like all we can do is explore the area a little bit. I don't know how much help I'll be, but I'm always here to chat if you need me. I'll do my best. Okay, got that to max. Oh, obviously we can use this. Ooh, one of these here. Oh, that means my brother is already folding this whole world to his whims. That can't be bad news. I mean, that's gotta be bad news. Uh, 
Okay, cool. Yes. I like this a lot more better. It's not as fast necessarily, but... Oh. <laughs> was not expecting that. That's cool. Got a mushroom. Classic. Useful item that can restore Mario's health anytime. Oh, Mario, I've heard about this. That's a precious adventure and resource. It's called an item. You should be able to see all the items you collect by pressing the plus button. Press the Y button to select an item and use it right away. How convenient is that? Very convenient. I can't help but hit trees. That's something that I did like in all the old Paper Marios. Wowie! I could soak the view up all day long. I mean, just look at the top of the mountain. It's so... Wait, what's that? That's the outer crust of Peach's castle, isn't it? I saw my brother's streamers wrapping around it, lifting it into the air. And then, it was gone. Wait, there it is! See? Way on top of that distant mountain. It's still wrapped up tightly with all those streamers. My brother could still be in there with Princess Peach. Oh, he's probably just plotting away. I'm going to stop you, brother. As your sister, it's my duty. Oh, speaking of brothers, um, I saw a green hat falling into the hole where the castle used to be. I'm so sorry. That green hat was related to your hat, wasn't it? Oh, I just knew I was right that ha about that hat. This is a big problem. It might be good to hurry back and see where it fell. There what's going on? See what's going on. Oh, and we should look for your brother while we're at it. I hope he's okay too. My brother! Hug me, brother! Oh no, we don't want to use that. Bow. Kazam! Oh, that was enough. Well, wasted some confetti. Well, let's save. Okay. Someone there? Who is it? Someone with a mustache. A flat paper person. He can't do that, can he? It's green. Mustache is also paper. Exploring because I need to see what's around. It's, oh shoot, that's got a sting. I can't look. Who installed those anyway? No? Okay. Uh, how do I get to that? Oh. Okay. Nice hammer. He's just hitting stuff. <laughs> A thousand coins? Okay. Well, that confirms for sure that we're going to be using coins for a lot of things. Stranger alert. I mean, paper guys. It might be. Cool hat, though. Just whacking things, huh? Not even very green of him. I didn't even see what they said there. Fully. So, apparently we can't... Oh, those are supposed to be like vines or something. I got it. How would we get across there? I guess we can't.
can't worry too much about that right this moment. I'm trying to get into this. You know, I won't lie. I think what's probably pushing me to do, to do this more is the fact that Bowser isn't the main villain. Because I probably could have gotten more into Color Splash if he wasn't the main villain. That and also if there was more enemy variety. Technically, this is there isn't going to be too much, I don't think, in this game. Um, but the variants of them um, being origami should be interesting. Right. Uh, what's this? Nope, whammy. Ah, okay. Ding ding, nailed it. Bingo. This one is heart. Nice. Whoa, not bad. Technically correct. I think I saw this one. Yep. Another mushroom. Shriveled mushroom. A shriveled mushroom. Water it to return it to its original form. This one? Yep. Some confetti. And a hundred coins. Ooh, a star. What? What the fuck? Get back here. Wow, whoosh. Peach's Castle collectible. He's too bright. Is that good? Oh, he's too good. Collectible treasure. Oh, it's cute. You should try to collect more of these, Mario. Maybe even all of them. That was cool. Check out the Musée Cham Champagne Toe Town to see all your collectible treasure in one place. Interesting. That's cool. Show him the thing. This will be good. I'm wondering... Huh. Uh... Cool this. Think he'll figure it out? <laughs> Don't give him any points. Don't give him any hints. <laughs> Assholes. Alright. Cool. Need some more confetti. Not very green of him. So done. I just realized what they're saying there. I know that that's the one right there, but faded fire fire flower. The faded fire flower. Would watering it restore its potency? Most likely. Excuse me? <laughs> Can I, I get an explanation on what the heck I'm seeing right now? Can't go that way. Um, am I just supposed to keep pulling it or can I fall down that way? No.
Is that? That's bourbon. I'm so lost on what just happened there. Sure seems like a lot of weird stuff is happening. You're not kidding. Let's just do it. Alright, so let's grab this. Is that a melon? Looks like it. Nope, it's a shriveled seed. A seed that seemed to be shriveled up for the lack of water. From a lack of water, I mean. Hmm. I don't know what it is, but I kind of have a good feeling that I might actually enjoy this game a lot. We'll find out, but... behind it no so much confetti that's wild okay well let's keep going place seems really familiar. Maybe things will change if we just keep going. Um, does it feel like we're not really getting anywhere? Sometimes when folding gets tough, I like to take a break to clear my head. You know, just sit down somewhere nice and flat with the perfect lighting, like on the tree stump. Hey, who's there? You can't sit on Grand Sappy's me head, mister. That's right. He's the elder of this force. Show some respect. He's got twigs older than you. So what if he's been logging by those nasty little toads? He's still the man, honey. Yes, yes. <laughs> Thank you, darlings. Bless your bark. Young you, young man, go back and tell your flat paper friends what a state I'm in. I've hardly the hard wood to speak, let alone learn you some manners. <laughs> That's right. Tell them, Grand Sappy. Old Grand Sappy here hasn't been the same since they cut him down. That's why he's mad at y'all. Flat paper folks cutting down good trees in their prime. Shame on you. Oh, and by the way, you need Grand Sappy's permission if you ever plan on leaving, hon. So now that, you've, that you're here, better get comfy, because you're going to be here forever. F forever? I think that means a really long time, and I can't deal with that. Um, Mr. Grand Sappy, we're not the, those flat paper people who did this to you. And actually, I'm not even flat paper. I'm origami. Oh, or origami, you say. My eyes aren't what they used to be. 
Well, if what you say is true, then perhaps you may be of some assistance to me. If you can find a way to restore my energy, I may just let you two leave this place. That's so wonderfully generous of you. Truly, I wish we knew how to restore your energy. Anyway, we're in a hurry ourselves, so we'll do our best to help. I guess if you're going to help Grand Sappy, we'll let you wander around a bit. The evil mist. Final Fantasy IX all over again. There you go, child. Now you can be on your merry way along the mountain. Just be, don't go wandering off too far. You got to find us something called the Soul Seed. They say that the only thing that can help Grand Sappy get his energy back. Good, so, good luck. Hmm, do you have something for me? How do you feel? Ah, but two. Nope, that ain't it. What's wrong with the seed? It's seed to seed, isn't it? The shriveled up seed won't help. I feel like there's something we can do to fix shriveled things, but where? I know exactly where. I just wanted to see what would happen. Mustache alert. So the trees all are alive in this unit. Does he have it for the spring? Or does he even want? Seems healthy enough. Is he trying to help Grand Sappy? Cool. Whoa. Hey, here goes that theme song. Whoa, it's been a while since that first battle, hasn't it? I think I remember how everything works. Do you? Let's give it a shot. Yeah, I do. Alright, this seems familiar. You're gonna line up these photo soldiers, remember? These Goombas look like they can be arranged in a single line. Remember how to move rings? You just, um, hmm, I'll let you figure it out. I remember. There we go. You got them all lined up. Nice work. Mario, if you can do this every time, you'll be good to go. Okay, which attack works best for this lineup? Yep, when you're in a straight line, you can use your boost to jump on all of them in a row. And since you nailed that lineup, your attack power went up by 1.5. Oh hey, that reminds me, you know about action commands, right? If you press A just as you land on an enemy, you'll deal more damage. Let's give it a try, press A as soon as it appears. Nice. Yes, a perfectly lined up jump attack is so satisfying. If you can land multiple action commands during battle, you'll take your enemies out in no time. Nice wave. Act another wave of folded soldiers came out of nowhere. Huh? They spread out a bit differently this time, aren't they? We need to line them up a certain way. You know how to do it, right? Yes. Great lineup, attack power up. They're all in perfect position. Now work, Mario. You're such a pro. Nice work, Mario. You're such a pro. Now you can use your weapon to flatten all those Goombas at once. Yes, now that they're in place, they're placed close together. Enemies don't stand a chance. Then I have good news. You can use action commands with the hammer, too. You'll see a burst behind you as you wind up your swing. Press A and the burst when the burst flashes the brightest. You ready? Okay, so brightest would be blue? Or is it the orange? Ah, that was the thing of beauty. You smashed all four Goombas in a single swing. And one other super important kind of action command. When enemies are attacking, you press A before you get hit to guard and take less damage. Go get him, Mario. Keep lining up those enemies and using action commands. 
Cool. Hey, this is great. Taking out folded soldiers releases a ton of confetti. We can use as much as we can to find all... F much as we can find with all the terrible holes around here, I'd say. What a great deal. We should get rid of the enemy and get the confetti to boot. And when they explode, it's like a party. Still though, how are these already fo folded soldiers this deep into the forest? Do you think they're just going ev around causing trouble everywhere? I have such a bad feeling about this. Who knows, Olivia? Who knows? Oh no, the soldiers are spread out all over the place. There's no way you can line them up in a single move. We'll be crumpled before the adventure even began. Just, that's just mean. Ring moves too. Wait, do you see that? It says times two under ring moves. It looks like you get two chances to move the rings in one turn. If someone battles, if some battles will let us move things twice, that changes things. Okay, let's think. You should start by uh, moving one and then, hmm, I'll leave this the rings to you, Mario. Go get them. I got it. So we do this, and then we go out. Oh, no! I was not trying to do that. Man. Now I'm going to look dumb. I definitely wasn't trying to do that, man. Oh well, at least we can practice the block. Now finish them off with a power-up attack. I could have did that a lot better. I understand how to do it though. Sorry for hitting you. I can't believe I had one of those folded things hiding on me. Is that what it feels like when you have a, a walk into a spider web? Or how I feel? Oh, how I feel terrible. Here, take these and we can call it even. Oh, cool. Thanks. <laughs> Target that tree. So, if you defeat one of these, those folded creatures, it turns into confetti. That m information could really save a lot of trees, you know. So if you defeat one of those. So if you defeat one of those folded creatures, it turns into confetti. That information could really save a lot of trees, you know. There we go. I think, I think it'd be smarter to get rid of this one. There we go. Whoa, there's a lot more folded soldiers this time. We'll never hit all these enemies with a single attack. Is this the end? Is this really how our final battle goes? It's been an honor to fight alongside you, Mario. Oh look, Mario, the action section. Does that mean we get two attacks this one turn? Let's find out. Try selecting your first attack now. Bam, 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 bam. Yes, I knew it. You still got one more action remaining. Pick your second attack, Mario. wasn't the blue one. Now, 
Wow, with two actions, you're almost unstoppable. With a successful lineup and multiple actions, we can take out a ton of enemies in a single turn. Always check your remaining actions before you choose attacks. Well, that's new. I didn't really see that coming. So we can possibly push to have more than one. I think I'm getting close to um, ending this part though for y'all though. I'm enjoying this, um, but I don't want necessarily to do like a two hour part. <laughs> like I was considering doing just 30 minutes, but I'm enjoying it, <laughs> if it isn't obvious. You wouldn't believe the restorative power that the spring has. Wrinkles gone, dry spots, wet, it's amazing. Hey, this spring that we saw before, I feel calmer somehow just standing near it. Normally I would have suggested this, but do you think we should try throwing something in there? Yeah, let's try the mushroom first. Cool. Yes, the fire flower now. You got a fire flower. Use this to throw fireballs at enemies in a straight line. Yes, this one. So are we going to be reusing this lake a lot, I wonder? Soul Seed. A fully revitalized Soul Seed. Give it to old Grand Snappy. Sappy, I mean. Rargh! Did you hear that? I think we might have been... It might have been old Grand Sappy. Crying out. He seemed pretty fee feeble when we talked to him. But that was no feeble, Urgh. oh no, no. You think he's okay? Well, run back and find out. He's hurt. I hope he's okay. It's not like old Grand Sappy's a t grunt and terror like that. He usually does his old, regular old grunt, tree grunts. We're gonna save just in case we're about to do a boss battle. And let's check this out. What the heck? Oh dear. I, I can't look. Poor thing. He's a shell of himself. Hollowed out like some woodshop project gone wrong. I can't believe those horrible things ganged up on Grand Sappy and did this to him. They they deserve to be chipped. Uh, Grand Sappy, can you hear us? This doesn't look good. He was already creaky, now he's downright hollowed out. Oh. I've got an idea. Look closely at Mr. Mr. Grand Sappy's face. Doesn't it look like one of the holes? Maybe that means you can fix him with confetti. Sadness. Huh? What happened? Felt like some rapscallions were whittling me down again. Did I dream it? Ah, uh, I suppose that was just a memory going down here. All nuts. Grand Seppi's back, y'all. Let's see, mustache. Check creepy eyebrows. Check. It's Grand Seppi again. All right. Ah, uh, thank you. He's still a shell of himself, but it's better than being a shell of a shell. We've got our precious elder back. Well, he's not hollow anymore, but doesn't it seem he could still be more energetic? Yep. Yes. Take this. And be strong. And young again, maybe? Is it working? How do you feel? It's doing something. Watch now.
What? I. What? Happy now. I'm doing like a big burly in the rest of the shoes. Oh, good days, oh yeah. Here I go, here I go, here I go. Oh, wow. I. Wow. Wow. I was not expecting that. You wasn't expecting that. I was expecting. <sighs> Looking good, Grand Sappy. I'm happy. So happy for you. Yeah. Now that's what I'm talking about. Yeah. That's <laughs> that little C was all it took to tighten up my timbers and put the funk back in my trunk. I'm young again. I see no need to keep y'all waiting any longer unless you want to race through the song and dance again. Shrubs. Open up the main entrance and his little lady there for the mustache and his little lady there. On it, Rubs, Robin. I couldn't read it all the time. Great, now we can keep making our way to Peach's Castle. Let's move on, Mario. I'm pretty worried about your green family. Bye for now, Grand Sappy. I'm glad we could be of service. Thanks for everything, little ones. Good luck out there. That is, that w that was uh, that definitely threw me for a surprise. <laughs> I I liked it a lot though. Don't call him Grand Sappy no more. He's sweet sap sap longings. Funkiest trunk in the woods. E it's like the old days again. Call me a tree hugger, cause I want to give all of you a big hug. I'm deciding whether or not if I should just save or if it's okay for me to. Oh, here we go. Save spot. So we'll stop here. So far, um, pretty great. Uh, I'm enjoying it. I, I really am. Um, I hope that I continue to enjoy it and it doesn't get dull for me. But until then, this is Master Games 22 of the Lunchbox. And if you didn't know, you should always stay lunching. Catch y'all later. Peace.